Hi there, oh, welcome to you. Breaking news for you from Tegarai. What I have been reporting has been confirmed just a few minutes ago. Tadasse, where they held a briefing. It seems that Tegarai military, Tegarai security forces have imposed curfew in Tegarai. It's curfew like announcement which Tadasse, where they made today. Tegarai politicians. PPL of politicians are giving away their powers. I hinted at this likely development days ago. I said that TDF could emerge as the strongest player in Tegarai. That would not be good for democracy, for politics in Tegarai. This is what seems to be happening now. What did Tadas say? Where they say in a press briefing a few minutes ago? Firstly, Tadas say where they he is deputy head of uh, Tegarai, deputy president of Tegarai. He is head of security. He is not president. Technically, legally, he is under Gita Chaurida. Gita Chaurida is president. Tadasse Varada is deputy president. So he cannot overrule what Gita Cho is saying, technically, legally. He cannot overrule instructions, orders of Gita Chaurada. But as I said earlier, curfew has been imposed, it seems, in Tegarai by military. Firstly, all protests, gatherings have been banned in Tegarai. Neither TPL of Debratsian nor Gitacho group can hold any gatherings now. This is what I said in the last video. I told you that TPLF's request for protest in Shire was rejected by Tigray security forces. And Gitacho's planned public meeting in Aksom could not be held. Because Tegarai military told Gitacho to postpone all protests. Gitacho was not ill. I told you that he was not ill. Confirmed. So, Tadasse Varada says no party can hold any public gatherings in support of or against each other. Why? He said these. Protests, rallies are leading to polarization. They are creating problems for Tegarai. That is why indefinite ban has been imposed. Though he said that the ban uh, will not last long, it will be lifted. But now the ban has been imposed. Itacho won't be able to hold any public meetings. TPLF cannot hold any protest rally starting from not today. Two days ago, they decided that. I told you that the, that uh, TDF actually told both the parties to just uh, go quiet and talk. First announcement. Second announcement. More alarming. Alarming in the sense that uh, military is making decisions. TPLF, a party which ruled for decades. With loads of political experience, is now giving away its powers to military, showing how incompetent Tigray's politicians are. By the way, so the second point which uh, the Dasavara they made is that he asked Tigray in term government that. Interim government should not make any new appointments. Those who were dismissed in recent days should be reinstated. So, ban has been imposed on new appointments, dismissals in Tegarai. Who is the president in Tegarai? Gitacho. It means Gitacho cannot make any new appointments, he cannot dismiss people. Deputy president. Is imp imposing a ban on the actions of president. That is, I'm saying it's curfew. 
This is what happens when military takes over in, in countries, in regions. The military then takes over everything and politicians are helpless. This is what is happening now. So, Gitacha, we know in recent days, fired uh, government officials who are pro TPLF, the Bratzian wing. He fired Lia Kamsa, uh, North East, uh, who, who was working as uh, a Tegarai zonal head. He fired Northwest Zone administrator to Northwest Zone, which is the stronghold of the Bratzian wing. So now Gitacho cannot fire people. He cannot appoint, appoint new people. Second announcement. Thirdly, he said that I say that uh, the ban is being imposed on new appointments on protests. So that uh, no third party could take advantage of the internal situation in Tegra. That the problem in Tegarai is not beyond the capacity of Tegarians to solve it. They can solve it. They should solve it on their own. They should not do anything which could pave the way for the intervention of third party. Which third party? Obviously, federal government. Today, as far as they're saying that there should not be any involvement of federal government, prosperity party in the ongoing conflict in Tegarai. Fourthly, very importantly, he said. Uh, Tigray security forces are not mediating between TPLF groups. It's a political issue, should be resolved by politicians. Lying. Affinity is lying. Tigray military is dictating terms. If Tigray military can impose ban on all gatherings, if it can impose ban on appointments and dismissals, you can see how powerful Tigray military is today. And th that's because of the incompetence of Tigray's seasoned politicians, the most seasoned politicians in Ethiopia from Tigray, bureaucrats, politicians, generals, because they ruled for decades. But you see, they cannot. Uh, create consensus to rule, to govern one region. Military is definitely mediating, but uh, Tadasa Varadeh does not want to admit that. I told you in the last video that Tegarai military, religious elders, academics, civil society organization uh, leaders, all are jointly mediating between two TPLF groups. Will this succeed or not? We don't know. But Tegarai military has sent a strong message to both TPLF wings today that it cannot let, uh, it cannot allow what is happening in Tegarai to continue. Gitacho's powers curtailed. TPLF, you can say, would be happy with the decisions made by Tadasse. But it was mainly Gitacho who was uh, holding public meetings. He visited several cities in the last few days. TPLF, the Bradstein was silent. It was Gitacho who was making decisions in terms of appointments, dismiss dismissals. So, the main effect of the uh, decisions made by Tegarai military is Gitacho side, not TPLF side. TPLF would be happy with what Tadasse Varede announced today. Question is will Gitacho interim government accept the decisions made by Tadasse Varede led Tegarai security forces? That remains to be seen overall. The decisions announced by the military today show that uh, the situation is still very tense in Tegarai. Can military take control in terms of resolving the issue or could we see military gaining more power and a, a military rule type situation could emerge in, in, in Tegarai? Let's see. That, that remains to be seen. But today, 
military has emerged as the most powerful institution in Tegra. And once, by the way, once generals taste the power of being powerful in politics, it's difficult to remove them from political scene. Again, I would say Tegra's seasoned politician should realize that military should be in barracks, not in politics. Otherwise, they'll suffer. You'll see that. Thanks for watching.